What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my new transition pack specially designed for gaming montages or gaming video edits. As always, this transition pack is also free, I did really appreciate it if you help me out to subscribe my youtube channel, like this video and also you can comment down below if you have any question about this video. So let's jump into the video and let's see how you can download this transition for free and how you can use it in Adobe Premiere Pro. These transitions are completely free, you can get the download link in the description below my check it out. You can support my work on Patreon and get more than 100 templates for Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. So make sure you can check it out, link in the description below. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing you need to do after downloading this transition, just go to Effects, right click, go to Import Preset and select the preset file and it automatically appear over here. So as you can see, we have a five different transitions folder right here so let's try out one by one so here i have uh, my gaming video footage over here so the best method to use any transition is always using through adjustment layer so let's go with the project panel create a new item go with adjustment layer and make sure your adjustment layer settings is same as your sequence settings so your transition will be work great right so here we have adjustment layer and as you can see it's a little bit longer so transitions actually work Works with a uh, 10 frame to 20 frame is actually on you how much longer transition you actually need in my case I'm going to add it a uh, gaming video I'm just go with a uh, 10 frame is actually good for me so for that I just move my play hat at the very mid of my two footage like so just hold shift right arrow key twice and here is the 10 frame so we need to make a cut right here so you just press ctrl k delete this extra layer go back hold shift left arrow key and twice again here is a 10 frame make a cut right here delete this extra layer like so and here we have a 10 frame adjustment layer right here and now move your playhead at the very mid and press M for a marker so we can truly scroll our adjustment layer easily. So now let's go to effects go to cross spin and here we have our two different files right here so some transitions contain a double file and some transitions contain a single file so for a double file transition we actually need a split adjustment layer so i just need to cut out my adjustment layer from mid control k and here we have a 10 frame adjustment layer on each side so now let's just drag your left file at the left adjustment layer part and the right file at the very right adjustment layer part yeah, as you can see it's really smooth you can make it longer even if you want you just need to increase the length of your adjustment layer on both sides and you actually done if you want to add it your transition and make it more smoother you want some modifications just simply select your adjustment layer go to effects control and here we have all the files that we can utilize for creating this transition you can actually edit anything that you actually want right so now let's try out our distortion one as you can see we have have a single file and we have a two different distortion transition right here so all you need to do is just drag your distortion roll and just drop it at your adjustment layer and there we go as you can see it's really fast and really quick and it looks really clean as you can see yeah, it looks really clean. You can go to effects control and here we have a directional blur, brightness, lens distortion. You can change anything. You can actually customize your transition to your own. And the third transition we have over here is old TV. Let's try out. So this transition is a bit heavier than the others. So we need to render out our sequence to make it work great. As you can see, this works really great. So now let's try out our last transition which is a shake transition which is my favorite one. So we need to cut out our adjustment layer because we have a two different file right here. So we need to cut out our adjustment layer into the two equal part. So we just go to the midpoint control K and here we have a five adjustment layer on each side. So now we'll just drag a left part at the left adjustment layer and the right file at the right adjustment layer. There we go and here is the results. 
as you can see it's really smooth and clean you can also customize it if you really want to do just select your adjustment layer go to effects control and we have all the files that we actually used to create this transition so you can actually customize it according to your use according to your requirements and yep that's how you can use this transition pack Wondershare Filmora is one of the best video editor for fast editing. They are giving some really good feature that actually save you a ton of time. So let's suppose we are editing some kind of gaming montages. So what do we actually need to edit our gaming montages? We need a good transitions, titles, elements and some kind of effects. And you know what? We have all of these things inside of Wondershare Filmora. So let me show you how you can add it. So here I have a gaming video clip over here. So you just need to go to to transitions and here we have a ton of transitions for your gaming videos all you need to do is to just drag any transition that you actually like and there you go as you can see it gives you some really good transition look we have ton of transitions that you can actually use for your gaming videos here we also have a light flake transition right here and also you can actually adjust the length of your transition yeah as you can see it looks really great so we have a ton of transitions to use for our gaming videos so if you're looking for some specific kind of transition you can always go to transition and here we have many type of transition not only transitions we also have titles for our gaming montages as you know titles is really important in a gaming montages so here we have a ton of titles that you can actually use for your gaming montages and also we have uh, effects right here that you can actually use in your gaming montages and make your montages looks really great so let me show you how you can actually use these effects so my best method to use these effects is just simply go to media create a new adjustment layer drag and drop it above to your clip now we have adjustment layer you can actually adjust the size of your adjustment layer according to your requirements simply go to effects select any effects that you actually want to use drag and drop it to your adjustment layer and there we go we have a RGB dispersion over here you can increase the length of your adjustment layer at any time when you want beside effects we also have a layers over here that you can actually use as you can see here is the before and here is the after you can see a clear difference between before and after so all in all Filmora is a complete package that actually give you transitions title effects and many more things at one place you don't need to go to somewhere to download and get a transitions title separately you have all in all package at one place so I really recommend you guys go ahead and check it out Filmora link in the description below and try out Filmora for free so yeah that's all about this video i hope you like this video if you like this video subscribe my youtube channel and leave a comment if you have any question about this video thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one